Hello, 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 this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time to return to Gabriel Knight, to the Beast Within. Now, <clears throat> uh, we were just about to, uh, we had just arrived at the Heron Shemik Museum. We must uh, talk to the lovely lady here. I'm going to make sure we have our wallet ready. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Ich hätte gern eine Eintrittskarte fürs Museum. Ja, 8 Mark für eine Ganztagskarte. So. Ah. Danke. Bitte. Sie ist eine Frau mit sehr kleinen Worten. Okay. Now we have to look at every item here. July 3rd, 1863. Elizabeth, you can have no idea, dear cousin, how happy you made me. The hours recently passed with you in the railway carriage I consider among the happiest in my life. Never will their memory fade. You gave me permission to visit you at Ischel. If the time comes for this ardent hope to be fulfilled, I shall be of all men upon earth the most blessed. The feelings of sincere love and reverence and faithful attachment to you, which I cherished in my heart even as a boy, makes me imagine heaven upon earth and will be extinguished by death alone. I beg you with all my heart to forgive the contents of this letter, but I could not help myself. Ludwig. This will probably be one of the more time-consuming parts of this game. Elizabeth frequently gave Ludwig advice on royal conduct, hoping to protect him from unfavorable public opinion. Elizabeth frequently gave Ludwig advice on royal conduct, hoping to protect him from unfavorable public opinion. March 1st, 1865. My dearest Eagle, you have not written me in a few months. I have missed you. I often try to imagine what you are doing. I hear tales that you have been on retreat and have not been seen in Munich for some time. I suspect it is this new friend you wrote up so mysteriously that takes you away from home. I hope you are enjoying yourself, my beloved, but I beg you to caution. The people need to see you at the throne. I also hesitate to suggest that what your officials do in your absence may not always be in your own best interest. You have always been a true king, but you must let the people see you to ensure that they don't forget that. E, your dove. Interesting. Okay, so let's see what this next one. Ludwig's friends were concerned for his mental state long before his arrest. June 14th, 1878. My beloved eagle, in your last letter, you spoke so movingly of your torment that I was moved to tears. What is this torment? Why won't you confess to me what is truly troubling you? You must know that I would never despise you, no matter how horrible you believe your sins to be. Please do not write such barbs to my heart by even suggesting such things. If you do not wish to confess to me, at least tell me how I can aid you. I am always your true one, your dove. Hmm. Okay, and there's one more here. 
In this letter, dated November 1886, Elizabeth of Austria thanks Bishop Frank for his assistance in helping her fulfill Ludwig's last wishes. She writes that she knows it was an unusual request, but she believes Ludwig had reasons of his own for wishing it to be done. She hopes that his spirit finds peace at last. No further sisters have been found. One can only speculate what the last wishes of a cornered and embattled Ludwig might have been. Okay. This place is giving me more questions than answers. Hmm. Because we can't have the readings of all these. Okay. All right. What's this? She's beautiful. Elizabeth of Austria. Austria. Ludwig's few close friends was an empress Elizabeth of Austria. She was a distant cousin of boy boyfriend and he saw her in the mirror. Race of the beauty of the It was a feminine right to the younger Ludwig. Their friendship continued after her marriage, mainly by correspondence. She remained a source of stability for Ludwig throughout his life. life. In keeping with Ludwig's love of romance and drama, he called her the Dove, and he to her was the Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Let's see that picture there. Ludwig is Prince Charming. He played the part well. well. He definitely had a fixation. Okay. Alrighty. What we got here? Ludwig's Grand Master Wardrobe from the Knights of St. George. Interesting. Hmm. Ludwig, Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. There's got to be a connection between all this St. George stuff and Gabriel. Hmm. Yeah, there might be. Ludwig is Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. The Knights of St. George was an aristocratic society dedicated to the acts of chivalry. Ludwig loved the medieval pageantry of the order in his early years before his increasing reclusiveness drove him to abandon public appearances. Hmm. Richard Wagner. Wagner? Interesting. Ludwig's Diary. Ludwig kept a diary from 1869 when he was 24 years old until his death. The diary provides a fascinating look into the mind of this tormented man. The original diary is kept in the Royal Archive. A few entries are shown on the opposite wall. Hmm! I've got to see that diary. What's this? Ludwig and Wagner. Ludwig loved the opera of his contemporary Richard Wagner. He helped support Wagner's music through much of his life. Ludwig considered Wagner a close friend, often calling him the Great Friend. Wagner encouraged this infatuation, some believe, for personal gain. Typical artist. Hmm. What's this? Signets and sash pins from the Order of the Knights of St. George. These were worn on Ludwig's uniform, as befitted his rank of Grand Master. They are now the property of the Bavarian Crown Treasury. Hmm. I wonder if these pins have any symbolic meaning. They could. I wonder if these pins have any symbolic meaning. I wonder if... Alright, we got it, Grace. Ludwig's diary! Even after Wagner's death, 
Ludwig still showed signs of obsession with the composer. This letter, written in 1882 by Ludwig to the conductor of the Munich Opera, instructs the conductor to make preparations for a new Wagner opera. The conductor went to see the king as instructed. When he arrived, Ludwig was ill and refused to see him. Nothing further was ever heard of this mysterious new opera. Was it a figment of an ill man's desperate wishes? Hmm. Ludwig is offered a crown of laurels by the genius of immortal fame. Interesting. This? 26 July, 1874. By the power of the lily, we shall have the strength to resist all temptations throughout the whole year. Mm, that's curious. 26 July, 1875. Solemn oath before the picture of the great king. Refrain for three months from all excitement. This oath has its binding power as well as its potency by De Parleroy, LNR, DPLR. Hmm. What excitement. I need to see more of that diary. Yeah, we need to know more. Is this more? Ooh, this could be more. Oh, the last days. June 7th, 1886. A group of men arrive at Neuschwanstein Castle demanding to take the king in custody. With them is Dr. Gudin, the doctor who had been in charge of Otto, the king's mentally ill brother. The men have an order for the king's arrest on the grounds of insanity. They are refused admittance by a brave group of farmers and local soldiers who have come to Ludwig's aid. They are forced to retreat to nearby Hohenschwangau. This is the first Ludwig hears of the conspiracy. Ludwig composes a pamphlet explaining the subversive acts of the conspirators and eloquently pleading with his people for aid. The pamphlet is smuggled out of Neuschwanstein and printed, but the pamphlets are seized before they can be distributed. Hmm. June 12, 1886, Ludwig knows the conspirators will return. He despairs. He asks his servant for the keys to the tower. The servant, fearing the king intends suicide, says the key is lost. Unbeknownst to Ludwig, the conspirators arrive at the castle. Hmm. This time, there is no one to stop them. Ludwig is lured from his bedroom to the entry hall of Neuschwanstein on pretense. There, he is taken into custody. Ludwig is taken by carriage from Neuschwanstein to Berg, where his brother Otto had long been imprisoned. This is a great blow to the king's state of mind. While on the way, the group stops at Sieshaup to change horses. Ludwig asks to see the postmistress, Frau Vogel. She brings him a glass of water and he says something to her. She never reveals these last words to anyone. Hmm. June 13, 1886. At Berg, Ludwig seems cooperative and coherent. Dr. Gudin writes to the government that he has Ludwig well under control. The two men go out for a walk, and Dr. Gudin is so confident he dismisses the guards. When Ludwig and the doctor do not return after several hours, a search is undertaken. The bodies of the two men are found in the lake, drowned. Circumstances mm. unknown. Wow. June 18th, 1886. Ludwig's funeral procession marches through the streets of Munich, followed by enormous crowds of mourners. The service is held at a packed St. Michael's church. Lightning strikes the church during the service, but no one is harmed. Ludwig's body is entombed in the Wittelsbach crypt at St. Michael's. His heart is placed in an urn in the pilgrimage chapel at Altadi in the Wittelsbach tradition. The urn is shown to the right. His heart is in an urn. How bizarre. Hmm. I have no idea what that says. Looks old, though. Hmm. Oh my 
god. That's the slave for my dream. Mm. Maybe Mrs. Smith will know what my dream meant. I have to ask someone. This thing is getting too weird. The Midnight Sleigh Rides Ludwig went on long sleigh rides in the middle of the night, particularly in his later years. It is said that he suffered from insomnia, headaches, and toothaches, and the rides soothed his restlessness. The sight of the king's grand sleigh speeding through the countryside of the Alps often startled the peasants and became a superstitious omen of ill fortune. I can see why. But what was he doing out there at night? Well, if it's, since this is werewolves, maybe he was be had become a werewolf. Ludwig embarking on his sleigh. Yep. Oh, what's this over here? Ludwig's death mask. Wow. Looked a bit peaceful in death. Okay, let's talk with the lady again. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Uh, Ludwig's Tagebuch im Museum? Ja. Wo kann ich Ludwig's Tagebuch hier anschauen? Die Tagebücher sind ganz persönlich. Hm. Die sind in den königlichen Archiven. Niemand darf die lesen. Aber nein, niemand darf die lesen. Danke. Obviously it's not possible. To see the diary, but there is one other question. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Im Museum es einen Brief von Ludwig über eine neue Wagneropa. Ja, ja, ich kenne diesen Brief. Wo kann ich. Uh, Mehr von diese wagner sehen. Ja, ich weiß nichts über Wagner. Das hier ist kein Wagner-Museum. Ja, ich weiß. In Bayreuth befindet sich ein Wagner-Museum. Versuchen Sie es halt doch, ne? Bayreuth. Danke. Bayreuth. Not Beirut. Okay, well then, hopefully that gives us a new place to go to. I hope. I hope I got everything here. Hello? Oh, please do not tell me you have locked up here, game. <laughs> I think the game locked up on me here. Well, um... Hmm. If it locked up on me, um... Um... Yeah. I think it locked up. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm sorry for how quiet I've been, but when you're learning a lot of stuff and there's a lot of talking, I'm not going to talk much. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it here. And um, next time around, we're going to be at the Wagner Museum. Uh, because the game obviously locked up on me. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to stop it here.
I'm gonna replay this section and we're gonna get and when we pick up next time around we'll be at the Wagner Museum. And so sorry for this short episode for the Gabriel Knight playthrough. As always, I invite you to join subscribe to the channel and check out the other playthroughs I'm doing next time around in this Gabriel Knight playthrough. We will be at the Wagner Museum. And hopefully we will continue on with chapter four. Um, check out some of the other playthroughs I've done. I do monster runs. Um, I also play through uh, other classic games. I'm working through the uh, classic Doom series. I'm currently working on Final Doom. I am playing through some point and click games, including a more modern release in the classic style, Kathy Raina Detectives Born. I am working my way through the classic Tomb Raider series, working on Tomb Raider 3. And uh, I'm also working through a few other games. Uh, the Sherlock Holmes series by Frogwares, I'm working through Crimes and Punishments. And I'm working through uh, some more modern games like Alien Isolation, still working through that one. As well as the classic Monkey Island franchise by LucasArts. Still working on Curse of Monkey Island. Take care all and have a good one. Sorry this one's short, but this is what happens. Bye all.